NVIDIA is set to report its third quarter earnings on November 20th. In recent weeks, investors have been eagerly awaiting various companies' third quarter earnings reports. Factors such as the upcoming election and significant developments in artificial intelligence, AI, have added extra uncertainty to this earnings season. Overall, earnings reports from major tech companies have been relatively strong. However, one key player that everyone is most eager to hear from has yet to announce its results. NVIDIA. This will change on November 20th. This particular earnings report may carry more importance than usual. Here's what investors should pay attention to, and my perspective on whether it's a good time to consider buying NVIDIA shares ahead of this much-anticipated report. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members-only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. Why this earnings report is so important. For the past two years, analysts and investors on Wall Street who follow NVIDIA have been intensely focused on the growth trends in its computing and networking divisions. Specifically, the focus has been on sales related to NVIDIA's data center services and graphics processing units, commonly known as GPUs. These areas of growth seem to be the main topic of interest. The upcoming earnings report is expected to follow this trend. When CEO Jensen Huang and CFO Colette Kress address investors during the earnings call, it's almost certain that they'll receive a flood of questions about one particular topic the upcoming launch of NVIDIA's Blackwell chip line, which is set to be the company's most powerful GPU lineup to date. Early projections have suggested that the Blackwell series could bring in $10 billion in revenue by the end of the year. However, there is a key detail that investors should keep an eye on. One of NVIDIA's closest partners is an IT infrastructure company called Supermicro Computer, also known as Supermicro. Supermicro specializes in providing storage cluster architectures designed to support GPUs, including those made by NVIDIA. Recently, however, Supermicro has faced some challenges. Over the past few months, the company has delayed filing its annual report, and just last week, its auditor decided to part ways with them. NVIDIA is reportedly shifting part of its supply chain efforts away from Supermicro and working with other IT architecture specialists instead. This decision seems reasonable, but I'm interested to see if this transition will affect NVIDIA's financial outlook related to Blackwell in any way. How does NVIDIA stock generally move around its earnings reports? The chart below shows NVIDIA's stock price over the past two years, with notes marking the timing of its quarterly earnings reports. Around these earnings reports, investors can observe that NVIDIA's stock price often shows increased movement and volatility. In my opinion, NVIDIA's comments on topics like Supermicro and Blackwell could have a significant impact on its stock price, potentially driving it up or down noticeably. Think long term. The bigger idea in play here is that NVIDIA stock has risen substantially over the last couple of years and that the share price has demonstrated a fair amount of resiliency even after some short-lived sell-offs. While NVIDIA's multi-bagger returns over the last couple of years certainly make the stock tempting, investors need to keep in mind that competition in the GPU space is on the rise. Although this won't be too detrimental to NVIDIA, new chips from other vendors could put a dent in the company's growth down the road. At the end of the day, I think investors should listen closely to any comments from NVIDIA's leadership related to Blackwell that could help them discern how these new GPUs will fare in the face of rising competition. To me, buying NVIDIA ahead of its upcoming earnings report carries too much risk, a move more suited to a short-term trader than a long-term investor. For that reason, I'd sit on the sidelines with NVIDIA for now and would encourage investors to continue gathering as much information as possible before following the crowd. Give us a like if you like our video, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.